Well, that's not right. What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. But the power was shut away in the reign of Electos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. Is that what Malus is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first. Offer our report to His Majesty. Malos aims for the seal? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Leaving destruction in his wake, our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the quester's report was true. Noble Hugo. At this time of grave peril, you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. Ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. Tis a much-valued gift to our young scion of a letter. Mark it well. It gladdens me. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. Yes, but... Zeta, what does not bend only breaks. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfeef you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the resistance force. We can't allow Maros to take the seal. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the resistance to move freely within your lands, lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. Our country must make its own sacrifice to halt the terrible power of the Aegis. Indul too pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight which brought us to this pass.
my brother. Or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still, he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. <sighs> Zeta, my brother, hear me well. The second world rests heavy upon my crown, I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. Ma Majesty. And this disorderly throne is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? Majesty, those are... Wait here. Hello, partner. This is a first. Malos. So this is the Aegis. Malos. He has an awesome presence. We would do well to proceed with caution. Agreed. Your MO is different this time, Malos. What are you trying to do? If this is a joke, it's not funny. I got bored of it. Bored? Letting Siren have all the fun got old, I mean. I wanted to see the humans dance. The dance of death and the flames of hellfire. What do you... That. I know full well what the Torn and Titan truly is. I've decided... I'm gonna lay that truth bare for everyone to see. Manos! Bastard! Each of the artifices I command holds ether energy that would rival even the largest titan. Imagine if a legion of them made it to the core of the Torn and Titan and unleashed that energy all the time. Time for dancing would be short but sweet. Ugh. You want me to stop? Had enough? Then try it. Come on! Come at me! Adam Orico, heir of Torna. Looks like that resonance isn't just for show. You're too kind. Golden eyes. I thought Tornins all had blue eyes. You're a bastard, is that it? My father is generous. He pays no attention to things like that. <laughs> You're wrong. You don't understand the consequences. Don't I? And you don't understand what humans are. Malos, the all knowing A diligent student, you could say. And learn this. Huh? Mithra! Heads up! Yeah. <sighs> nice. 
nice trick. Of my interest, at least. Surprised? This is what humans and blades can do together. But you threw that away! <laughs> I don't need that crap. Better off without it. and you'll learn one thing. Deep down, they wish they were dead. They kill each other like they swat flies, running towards oblivion like blind rats. They see the divine flame of life and piss over it. <laughs> They're genius at that. In a class all of their own, really. Yes. Oh, that flame is wasted on them. So I... I want to give them a little push in the right direction. As the benevolent servant of our wide dad should. <sighs> Here, keep yourselves entertained. I'll go get what I came for. Adam. Yes, I know. Uncle! Get on. We'll hunt him down. At once. Over there, Malos! Too slow. It's already mine. Malos. The looks on your faces. Huh. Well, that settles it. The end of the world is postponed a little, folks. If you want to take this off me, come find me in the Titan's core. That'll be the finale. Is this a game to you? Yeah, it's a game. An easy cure for the tedium of being. See you later, partner! Sorry, I let him escape. No, thank you. You saved us. You owe me one, then. It's been 80 years, hasn't it, Jin? You know me? You and Ornelia used to ride on my back. We used to have a lark flying about. Ornelia? From the photograph? And I suppose she's your driver now? My name's Laura. I've been with Jin for 17 years already. I never. You were fortunate to be picked up by her, Jin. Uncle, we're just in the way here. Perhaps we should leave it to the soldiers and just go. Yes, let's do that. Shall we head for the Tornan Womb? Yes, I'd say we're bound to. The Tornan Womb? Perhaps I should go first. Please, go ahead. 
We will join you once we've made a report to the king. What good was your militia? They could not halt Malos, nor even safeguard the seal from his clutches. I have no excuses. Adam. <laughs> Majesty, this is a deep dishonor. I beseech you to lay them low, that the people may have faith in government. Majesty! Brother, your advice is wise. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment. Adam only sought to protect your realm. Silence! Is your voice more important than the King's? But what of you, Zeta? What of me? Look first to yourself, I bid you. W what do you mean? Surely, Adam sailed the ship into a rocky reef. But if he were the bow, you were the stern. Y your Majesty, those are bitter words. It was Adam's vanguard that let slip Malos. Would our army have succeeded with certainty, brother? In the hour of need, where were they? W we set the defense of the people as our highest goal, Your Majesty. Our soldiers guided the townsfolk to safety. While Adam's militia flew, though rashly, into the breach, and the brave dragoons of noble Hugo wagered their lives as mere trifles for our nation's sake. But, but I... It unfolded thus. If honor took its natural course, the sons of Torna should have stood their ground. <sighs> Mark their honor above their frailty. You saw the battle with your own eyes, did you not, my brother? I, I did. And how did you think it? Words can scarcely describe it. It was unlike any mere human struggle. I fear I could not report it justly. Indeed, brother. Hmm? It was a fight beyond our ken. I, too, saw it with my own eyes. Our torn and crafts of war would have been doubly doomed against Malos. That's... Is it not folly to assume that our army could do what Adams could not? Your Majesty. Uh... Noble Hugo, my brother forgets grace and gratitude. Our nation hangs over doom like a ripened fruit. You and yours are our final ray of hope. Will you offer us aid again to avenge ourselves on the Aegis? We came with that very intention, Your Majesty. Didn't we, Prince Adam? Yes. Majesty, if it must be so, I will expend my life for the future of the land of my forefathers. While we're here, your name is Laura, is it not? Uh, me? Y yes. Your work impressed me deeply. No, I... Yet you are no knight. Bear no peerage. Yes. I'm from a settlement in the distant borderlands. I serve with a mercenary band. I knew you for a while here. Good Lord. I would like to recognize your valiant labors. The title of Knight of the Realm, it is yours, if you would accept it. Me? A knight? Laura, my congratulations. I can hardly believe it. Me. Come now. A title is a mere decoration. Surely you learned that from me. I hope it will raise your spirits a little, Laura. Humble Laura, I have a request I must make of you. 
this day, the people of our nation shiver in the darkest of shadows cast by mighty Malos. But I bid that you seed a flower of hope in this shadow-mired land. I hope that I can. Your Majesty, I'll do my best. Well spoken, brave Laura. We shall anoint thee as Lady Laura tomorrow in the plaza before the palace.